Hello. Well, I just figured I'd show you some of the things we've been working on. So, um, there's all our studded walls, 2 by 10, 16 on center. Uh, we framed in our windows, which are casements. Um, all framed and uh, we uh, plated around the steel because we had a notch and cut and plate back so that's the wind braces anyways we're almost done so I frame these windows in um, so it was a little extra detail on the wall because we we insulate the 2 by 10 full and this just gets drywall, but on the outside, we get this offset step because um, we got two inches of rigid, in we got three quarter inch plywood and then blue skin for the air seal on that, and then this material called the slicker, which allows for airflow through the cavity. And then on top of that, um, blue skin, slicker, then it goes two inches of. Uh, rock cell insulation in between Z bars so but then it's a thermal bridge barrier because all materials um, bridge either the heat from the outside in or definitely the cold from the outside through itself so um, it's a re-insulation on the exterior it's called a thermal bridge to stop all materials from thermal bridging so we had a we had to do a little extra detail in the window openings to uh, you know, if we just if we just frame this out and, and put this put put the studding there, but our window sets back in inside the, the facade, so this looks like the windows are carved into for the to the facade and not flat. It gives it more dimension, so it's pushed in. And rather than then keep the blocking out there and then stop the two inch insulation there, it wraps in and comes right up to the window frame. So there's no thermal bridge in these areas. So everything gets wrapped around. The insulation gets wrapped around. Um, so materials don't get the cold going through them. So, and then of course we did the radiator niche on the bottom. And then another casement goes here. Not all the windows get the same thermal bridge detail it wraps inside even on the sills the sills come up and it wraps in and the head comes up and it wraps in and then after that the uh, insulation goes on and then this the 16 gauge sheet material comes and wraps and then it, it profiles in here in the cock joint the cock joint happens here so when you look from this direction up you don't see no caulking um, so we can seal the caulking and this is a 3 8 inch cock joint there and the windows all have a 3 8 inch caulk joint. And then I get some spray foam from the inside and then the outside, it gets a nailing flange which comes and hits the uh, thermal bridge thickness here. The nailing flange comes and folds there, but that gets all caulked and then the nailing flange goes there. So anyways, we cut in all around. We had to cut in all around the steel and we're using adhesive where we meet the steel. And, and we're shooting two bys on with pins. We have pins that we shoot it on with. And that's it. That's that staircase in the wall. And uh, here's the bridge. This is all glazing. This is um, four, um, eight panes of glass. Uh, two on top of two, and two on top of two, two bays. And then this is a single bay of glass. This gets four panes. Let me see what I mean. Okay. okay, so there's that detail that we were talking about before, why the LVLs came so close to each other. It's to tie these tails of the, um, the tails of that wing wall get tied in all the way, all the way up to the top and then it gets, it gets uh, screwed along that face so when the wind, the wind's going to try to push this little wing wall, going to try to push it in, but it can't now because we locked them all in. They were all locked in up there. So, anyways, 
there's the staircase and that frame wall. We're gonna, we're gonna insulate the, the beams and put blocking um, to accept the plywood. And we're going with three quarter inch tongue and groove on there and then we'll insulate there. Uh, we'll put, we're putting a curb up there first and then we'll, we'll sheet the whole exterior with plywood. And then we'll come along and we'll put blue skin over, which is, which is an air seal uh, rain screen permeable material that allows moisture uh, to escape if it has to, but it won't allow any rain to go in. So we're going to put that on there so it's sealed. Now it's ready for the, the weather. If we can't get on that sheathing and, and insulation bridging, thermal bridging right away, it will be sealed and protected. So well, that's it. Just, we're getting there. This is a doorway. So the glazing mullion runs down here and then it's framed in. Um, the siding comes in steps and so does the drywall because this is the framed opening for that door. So, and then, and then we got the same detail over here because the door, another door opening does the same thing there. Steps back up and makes glazing. Oh, we just gotta, we just gotta do the, the glazing that comes in here. I got another wing wall coming in here. Um, and man, and those two two by tens go right up and meet the plywood on the floor, and that gets scooted from both sides. And then, and then a row, of another wing wall there, and then that's it. We're gonna start shooting, shooting the exterior. So, anyway, that's what, that's where we're at now. So, a little bit of wall, and then uh, uh, there's the lift of plywood down there, tongue, three quarter inch tug and groove exterior. Um, anyways, that's it. Just a little um, update on the frame. Radiator, baseboard radiators. That's it. Anyways, till the next video. Have a good one.